it's important to know that this is the origin that led up to my old angel cards and why I highly recommend that you burn or otherwise destroy these cards if you have any, or if they're apps on your phone that you delete them immediately. I just want to emphasize is that I my angel cards were based on tarot. Um, I, I used to be a tarot reader when I started out in the 1990s. I threw out the cards that scared me, the ones with the pentagrams and the devil and death cards, but I was using a lot of the tarot cards in my readings. And and then I had a dream that seemed to be with my deceased grandmother coming in to tell me that she told me to study Pythagoras. I now know it's a demon. And when I studied Pythagoras, it took me back to studying ancient Egyptian hermeticism and numerology. And it led to me going to my publisher and saying, hey, I want to create a deck of angel cards based on tarot, but being positive, just absolutely 2 Corinthians 11, 14, 15. Uh I was verse 15. For anyone who thinks that the angel cards are innocent, they're not. I'm. Let me just dispel that rumor right away by saying that the angel cards are probably worse than tarot cards because they disguise the darkness and seem to be safe when they're not. They give you the same bad advice as tarot. They point you to yourself as God, and they will lead you down a road of destruction. And And if you follow it, it'll ruin your life. These angel cards have nothing to do with God's angels. These are fallen angels, not God's angels. And they cannot give you wisdom. They cannot give you guidance. They cannot give you answers. All they can do is point you away from the one who can give you wisdom, guidance, and answers. And that's God. Probably one of the biggest burdens I carry because my old work is still out there as used copies, as this illegal bootleg printer uh, is still printing them. And there's still some foreign publisher licenses that are winding down and they're still printing them. Um, probably my biggest burden is that amongst those old products are two decks of cards specifically for children. And at the time I thought I was helping, but now I'm horrified that I did that because all three synoptic gospels record Jesus as soundly condemning anyone who causes a child to sin. You can read this in Mark 9.4.2. Jesus said, Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were hung around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. So we don't want to point our kids to cards or any form of divination. We want to point them to where they can truly get guidance, answers, and wisdom. And that's through the Bible. There's children's Bibles. And it's a way to draw closer to God by studying the Bible together. So don't mess with the divination. There's a reason why it's condemned in the Bible, not because God's trying to ruin your fun or something. You know, God cares about us. He loves us. That's why he sent his only begotten son to die in our place for the wrath that we all deserve because we've all sinned. And he does not want us messing with things that will lead to the devil. 